So I wanted to go over a way of organizing your wires and labeling stuff so you can keep track of which wire goes where because I'm putting a Holly on my Corvette here and I went through the factory fuse box and got rid of a bunch of wires I didn't need. And now I have a bunch that I like for the rear, like my reverse lockout, I'm gonna use the Holly to control that. So I got them wires labeled and the way I've been doing it is with tape and writing on it and just kind of wrapping it around. But once I terminate it to a plug, I would like to have it kind of permanent without having to do a wiring diagram, colors and stuff. Being able to label the wires after the fact is pretty cool. And I think I found a cool way of doing it. So if you look at the Holly harness, the way they're labeled is really nice. Nice little labels. And I was like, that's pretty cool. I mean, everything is labeled. So it got me thinking. Maybe I can find something that can do this same thing. And I think I did. So if you see, I've kind of got a mess, but this was way, way worse. I had so many wires. You can see here, I have a bunch of wires I pulled at the bottom of the fuse box. The fuse box. And what I have here is pretty much all that's remaining. I got things like my starter, which it's got a newer quick disconnect type of starter wire. But I know what that is. But when it comes down to stuff like this, this is gonna be the wire that goes to the holly to turn it on with key on and cranking power. So I'm like, I need to be able to label this because the tape is not gonna really cut it. So let me show you what I figured out. So I found this little device. It's a label maker, little printer. It has Bluetooth, it connects to your phone. I paid $23 for this on Amazon and I played with it for a few, few minutes and I made a wire Another thing I did was I figured it's kind of cheap. It can't be that great, but it prints out really nice. And one thing I did do is order some clear uh, heat shrink wrap. And I figured I could put this on the wire and put the heat, or the, yeah, the clear heat shrink on and shrink it down. And I got a nice little label. So basically what you do is you download the app and you go through and it's basically already set up. It just asks you what font you want, stuff like that. Type in your words and it'll let you know if it's gonna fit on the labels. This is kind of an example of what I printed off, just kind of testing it. As you can see there, I made that one. It was a little, it showed the R was in there, but like you see, it you gotta be kind of choice with your words. But it's pretty, pretty cool little label. Like it looks almost identical. I could probably go through and find the same font that Holly uses and it would probably match up perfect. It's not too far off. So I'm gonna print one out, put it on a wire, and we're gonna see what we can come up with. I have an example wire here. This is typical wideband plug. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print out one that says wideband, and then I'll show you me, I'll show you putting it on and clear shrinking it, and we'll see what it looks like. So this is the heat shrink that I bought, just regular clear. I didn't know how well, how clear it was actually gonna be. And it's kind of cloudy looking, but the one wire I did make, it come out pretty nice. And as you can see, this is the label I made. Wide band. And I'm just gonna take my wire. And if you have a really skinny wire that you're trying to wrap this around, you may have to cut this in half so it doesn't wrap around back on its writing. So let's just find a good little place for this. Then we'll find us a piece of heat shrink that will fit over that. You can get some bigger heat shrink. This is the biggest size in the pack that I bought, which tells me that I can use a little bigger pack. Now we'll heat it up, shrink it down, and yeah. One thing to note is heat does affect the sticker if you heat it too much. I learned that with the first one I did. And I'll show you that one here. 
this one just says holly key power and you can see if you get it a little too warm you'll get some dark colors on the sticker but i'm pretty happy with that i mean that looks nice neat it's much better than the tape so let's like i say this is still a, like a a direct flame going to it so i imagine a regular heat gun probably wouldn't affect it as bad So now we have a label. You can read that and I think that's pretty cool. Kind of blends in nice and like I say, it won't look crazy plugged up under the hood or anything. So you see me struggle just a little bit with that heat shrink and that was the biggest size in this pack, which was three quarters. So if you think you're gonna be wrapping anything a little bigger than that, conduit then i'd probably see if you can get something a little bigger and i'm actually about to look it up myself see if i can get like a one inch i don't think you would really need anything over a one inch clear tube but be cool to have so i think that's gonna do it uh like i say you think about the future when wiring something you never know when you're gonna have to go back and figure out which wires what and i feel like this could save you a lot of time especially if you're wrapping individual wires strands it's pretty pretty cool little thing it does have its place and of course you're not going to use it on every single wire because that would be very tedious and time consuming but would be pretty nice if you ever had to work on it again i'll probably drop a link down below to the printer that i use it worked really well uh, like i say it was 23 dollars. it's just a little label maker on amazon but i appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one